show you previously how to remove suckers but sometimes you forget and leave some of them out or you didn't notice them right away so one of the biggest things you can do to them is to come back and cut them off they need to come off anyway so may as well use this um, for something good so as you can see right here I have removed the sucker and all those little fuzzy little hairs on the side of it those are potential roots so it's very easy to root this piece so I'm gonna just put it in a glass of water and once it roots I can plant it in the ground the biggest advantage of using suckers for this is that even if you are using um, tomato that's a hybrid you can still get exactly same plant and for uh, from about one plant I can probably get about four or five suckers very easily you really don't want to let the suckers grow that much but um, sometimes like I said sometimes it does happen and no matter how diligent you are if you have a lot of tomatoes you may run into this kind of situation when one or two of them will have more than you expected Here is another one of my tomatoes that have a really large suckers. I probably should have taken them out a lot earlier, but with the rains and everything else we've been having, I'm just kind of a lost track of what's going on in my garden. So I'm taking them out. As you can see, some of them are really big and I want to clean up the middle. So once they start producing tomatoes, they have plenty of room and they don't start rotting on the stem. Since I'm cutting, I may cut a couple of bottom leaves as well just to clean it up so I just brought all of my cuttings back into my kitchen because it's getting a little too warm outside and I'm ready to separate them in their individual uh, groups um, I have some shot glasses just a cheap plastic dollar store shot glasses I think it's a two dollars under two dollars for uh, for ten uh, perfect use and as my husband always likes to say, that you can also reuse them for other needs. Um, but we're ready to plant them and I'll show you how to clean them before you plant them. You want to have something sharp to cut them. As you can see, I have actually labeled them where I was in the garden. So I know exactly what it's in it. And the way you clean them is very simple. You just give them a 45 degree cut on the bottom. And I want to use something sharp. Remove all the leaves that will be in the water. Just set it in a glass. Then repeat with all of them. I have the ones that are a little bit bigger here, so I'm going to cut them just to be a little bit more manageable size. This is a stretch one. They all can go in the same glass if they just a small like this one. Again, I want to point out that if you see those little little hairs on the tomato plant on the stem, those are all potential roots. And this one is probably the biggest one I've cut today. So I'm going to probably cut it a little bit shorter. Remove potential future suckers from it. This one is ready to go as well. Another great one I have here, it's sun gold. And so you pretty much do with all of your other ones exactly the same thing. You cut them at 45 degrees on the bottom, cut all the leaves that will be in the water and put them in. Pretty simple. Here you have it. If I don't forget to water them and keep their water, and every single one of them survives, which sometimes I do forget to add water to those little glasses. And tomatoes are a very thirsty plants. They make sure that you check for amount of water they have. But if every single one of them survive, I have 25 free plants right here. Um, so if you even if you're just spending about a dollar or two dollars for a little plant at the, at the Home Depot or any other local store or nursery, um, that's $50 right now or... Um, even more if you're spending if you're spending more money on it. Good luck and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to us. 
I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's been exactly seven days since we did the cuttings and as you can see it, we have a really good amount of roots in all of them. Um, some of them are a little slower, some of them are have larger roots than the others, but they all starting to come up. One thing I did learn in this experiment is if you have a really long um, cuts, you may want to put them in the shot glasses just to avoid them curling up. As you can see it on this one, it's actually was sitting in a wider mouth container and a lot of them curled up just like that, but they were still fine. Um, so I just put them in a shot glasses just so they straight stay straight and the ones that already have roots I have only two pieces that don't have roots yet but everything else that have roots will be ready to go into um, a little containers with the um, seedling start for the soil thank you guys so much for watching our video I hope you like what you've seen today I hope you will have a lot of tomato plants with the beautiful gorgeous red tomatoes and I hope you create your own ideas. Please leave us comments, um, give us likes, and if you really like us, please subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye.